my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I'm the author of the Young Adult Fantasy Novel Fury and Rising, and this is English Nerd. Now, about an hour ago, I looked much better than this, but after I went for my walk after work, I found that I had, at last, at long, long last, my Lord of the Rings box that I ordered a long time ago. So, I thought I would do an unboxing for you guys. Uh, before I do, though, I do want to say that I will not be ordering from Loot Crate again because these, I, I ordered the three specialty boxes, the one for Fellowship, one for Two Towers, and one for Return of the King, and they were supposed to have arrived uh, in March, May, and July. So, as you can see, it is now September, and I am now getting the first of these rather expensive specialty boxes. Um, I was super excited about them, but the expectations are quite high at this point, because they have a bit to make up for with how late everything is. They, uh, Loot Crate essentially, uh, as far as I understand it, went bankrupt and got bought out by people recently, and so now, finally, the boxes are all getting out. Um, so, that said, wouldn't recommend the service, but maybe we can see some really cool Lord of the Rings merch. At least I certainly hope so, because I have been waiting for this box for so long. I do appreciate how big the box is. I've done a an Owl Crate unboxing here on my channel before, and Owl Crates are, um, I don't know, maybe half the size or two-thirds of the size. Okay, so the first thing I notice, unfortunately, is that the seal is broken here. I think they just didn't put the sticker on well enough, and so... I think everything is untampered with. It had better be, or I'm gonna just go nuts on somebody. Okay, anyway, so all of that negative stuff is out of the way. It is time for some Lord of the Rings merch. Now, you can't see a lot of Lord of the Rings merch from where you are standing. You can see maybe a little bit down there. See, I have my Minas Tirith and a few other things, but trust you me, I am a collector of... Lord of the Rings merch. I have Sting hanging up right over there, just out of camera shot, and on the other side, again, just out of camera shot, there is a signed script with all nine of the Fellowship members. So, I've been diehard for a super long time. Time for some unboxing. Okay, opening up the box. Ooh, okay, I like the inside of the box already. Let me just turn this around, show you. Look at that! It's like a whole panorama type thing! Okay, so I like that. I like that quite a bit. Alright, let's, uh, I'm just gonna pick up the first thing I see. It appears to be some kind of pillowcase. No, it is not a pillowcase, it's a shirt! <laughs> okay, so it's a shirt. This is gonna be a sleep shirt before I show it to you. This is not going to be a shirt that I, like, wear out and about, because it's a little funky. It's a little, it's a little weird. It's like, awesome, but also kind of pixelated. So, okay, so we have a shirt, sleep shirt, that I will love. Okay, next up, we have, <laughs> we have some Gandalf socks, which I will need to find some sort of event to wear. Oh, I see, it's Gandalf the white, Gandalf the gray. So, both of them, maybe trivia would be the place for that. What is this little thing? We have an interesting little box. Very pretty. It says Loot Crate exclusive, as I think everything says that. Ooh, okay. All right. So as you can see, there's even kind of, um, I don't know, looks sort of like rock. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's a... Uh, it's a keychain, it has the ring on it, you can see the ring script on there. I don't know if you can see it very well. That's pretty cool, I like that. Stick that back in. My fellowship box. Okay, let's see, what is next? Okay, so we have something here that I'm curious about. It looks blankety. Let's just, let's just see, let's find out. that way. Okay, I do like the way this is packaged. That's pretty cool. It has this, uh, like, belt kind of travel buckles on it. 
Okay, so it says it is a travel mat. I don't really know what that means, but I'm about to find out. Oh, this is actually attached to the the blanket or whatever it is. Okay, so I'll just undo the clasps then. Give it a second. Okay. Let's see what we have here. All right, that's pretty cool. So it's like a travel blanket. I'm gonna see. Can you see that whole thing? There you go. Yeah, so it's the Balrog and and Gandalf, which is a scene that I absolutely love. I actually have a Christopher Clark painting of the uh, Gandalf's fight with the Balrog up in my living room. So if you haven't seen that painting, you should definitely look it up. It's gorgeous, and it's basically this, but from a different angle. So that's that's neat. So it's nice for traveling too, because it gets so small. I'll uh, get that back in its clasps later when I'm not on the clock. Okay, next we have this big thing, which says that it's a prancing pony mug, which I've secretly wanted. I've wanted a secret, or not a secret. I want. I've wanted a prancing pony something some kind of drinking vessel for a long time but i collect so many mugs that i already don't have space for all of them i try to be good and every once in a while weed through my mugs and get rid of them but i love them so so let's see what this looks like please be cool oh very cool okay this one's this one's a ringer yes this one i love <gasps> yes look at that oh man this will be Okay, yep, this is this is my favorite item by a lot so far. That is just gorgeous. It's big, it's a big old tankard, this is metal. I love this. Okay, this is incredible. Big fan of that mug. Okay, so this is getting this is getting better. I like that. Okay, so it's not so you do have to hand wash it, but that's kinda what I was expecting with the metal on there. That's fine with me. Some of my favorite mugs are just hand washable. It does say that the item is breakable. Use caution when handling. It's like you don't say. It's made of glass but, or porcelain or something. Okay, next up we have a Lord of the Rings three patch set. I don't know what that means. I, I assume, well, I assume that it's like iron-on patches or something. Let's discover together what this means. Ooh, cool. They are iron-on patches, but look, they're like travel patches with all the different places. Ooh, that's neat. Okay, so here you have the Shire, you have Moria with the door of Moria, and then Mordor at the end. That's cool. I wonder if... Okay, so they are iron-on patches. They're not like the kind with the sticky back that you just peel off. Ooh, I like that. Okay. All right. I'm glad that there is more than there appeared to be in this box because you heard the preface. All right. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay. Nice. So we have a very pretty print. This is not fellowship. So I feel like I'm sort of confused about that. It's definitely two towers with Treebeard and Orthanc and Merry and Pippin up there, but it is very nice as well. So I'm gonna open it up just to see if there's anything behind. I don't think there is, but in case there is, I don't want to miss out on it. Nope. So it's just a, it's like a postcard kind of consistency. Back in the day, I got a whole set of postcards about this size with um, Aragorn, so just a whole set of different Aragorn poses. Still have a few of those, and I love them. Okay, throwing that away again, and let's see. Thank you for joining us. Okay, continued patience. Yes, yes. Okay, we've included a bonus looter favorite item. Let's see what that means. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think this must be the bonus item. Alright. 
And then it comes with this little guide. Oh, it does come with the guide, so it tells you everything that should be in there. That's nice. All right, so it has the One Ring Keychain, got it. Exclusive pin Prancing Pony Stein, favorite thing. The Frodo T-shirt, awesome. Balrog Travel Mat, they call it a travel mat, but I feel like it's more of a blanket than a mat. I guess it could be either one. And then Middle Earth Patch Set. Okay. Well, cool. So a second one should be coming, I don't know, I don't know when, but hopefully soon because I've waited a long time. Okay, well that was, that was pretty cool. I like the box as well. I don't know what to do with this box, but look at it. It's like its own piece of artwork or something. It's pretty neat. All right, well thank you for sticking with me and watching this Lord of the Rings unboxing video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I will probably be filming my other unboxings as well when the Two Towers and Return of the King boxes get here because why not? More Lord of the Rings merch, always. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, okay, I'll see you on Monday. Bye.